an amazing food spa followed by some yummy food and shopping. This is what an evening in a mall looks like. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm actually spending an evening at Viviana Mall in Thane. I was here for some work so I thought of coming to the mall and chilling and hanging for a bit. This is not really like an agenda driven video but it's just to show you guys what I do when I'm at the mall, when I'm shopping, when I'm not really shooting shooting. So just actually taking you around with me to do some TP. So come on let's go first and start this day by getting a massage. I have been thinking of getting a foot massage for the longest time and they have a spa here. I've not really heard too much about it. I just saw the reviews on Google. So let's go check out the spa. The spa that I'm going to is called Mio Thai Spa. I don't think it's a chain. I think this is their standalone outlet but then again I might be wrong so make sure you check that out. This is on the second floor of Viviana Mall. I didn't find too many other spas in this mall itself so I thought of giving this one a try. Now, I really want to go in for a foot massage. That's the therapy that I've asked for. I did call them up at least half an hour before and took an appointment but still there was a wait time of at least 20 minutes. First they give you like a change of footwear so it's supposed to keep off your sandals and they put you in a little bit more comfortable slip-on type thing and then they also give you a change of pants or a change of dress depending on what therapy you're going for so I got these super super comfy pants and somehow I love these high style spa pants I feel like wearing them ever so often because the weather in Mumbai right now is really really bad and they also look good I feel and then I was taken to the foot spa room which are like these 3-4 recliners and this is where the magic happens the spa is a 60 minute foot massage and it's literally only foot no back no neck nothing and they actually use a cream which they rub on your feet they also use a wooden tool and all in all it felt like the start of an extremely relaxing therapy So that was such a relaxing experience. I cannot believe like in the middle of a mall you can actually get into a spa and feel that good. I think for me what worked was just the technique which my masseuse used. At one point she used this wooden stick which in the beginning was painful but now like I feel like it took off a lot of my stress and tension away. The cost of this spa is about 16.30-16.50 per person for a one hour foot massage. There are various other therapies. I've tried to get a clip for you guys with the charges in stuff so in case you want to come here then you can check out the charges before do i recommend the spa i think uh, it was pretty good i enjoyed my foot massage so if you would like to experience then you can come here as well so on the second floor of this mall there are literally two spas and one salon pretty close to each other so if you want to get your nails done your hair done or a body massage or something then there is a lot of that on this floor another fun thing to do in Viviana mall is go to fun city which is like a whole gaming zone and not just kids even adults can be seen over here I also see a lot of parents leaving their kids here to have fun by themselves before they head to do something else like shop or head for a movie I actually feel like grabbing something to drink I don't know maybe a fresh juice so I'm heading to the food court to search for something This is the food court area of the mall. According to me, this is one of the most buzzing food courts out there. The way it's made, like it's a very nice circular kind of setup and all the tables and stuff are in between. So you can literally see from, you know, where you're seated, all the different options available for eating. They have like these normal brands like Domino's, Pizza Hut, KFC, McDonald's and stuff. And they have a lot of Indian chains as well, like Noorani, Wow China, Bhagat Arachan, Malguri and more. I am right now very specific looking for juice so I'm stopping by this place called Has Juice Bar. There's one thing that really really tempted me over here which is the mango with cream. So I've ordered one of that but that's not for me. I'm just gonna have a couple of bites from that. I'm sharing it with someone and I'm actually gonna be having the orange kickstart. I was feeling a little bit dehydrated. I wanted a little bit of a fresh juice of sorts. So that's what I've ordered. Let's wait for it to come. 
So this is my really really sad and boring looking juice and this is the very very interesting looking mango with cream. You have to see the quantity like this is an entire glass. It costs 230 rupees, same price as much as this juice but man they make bachelor look really really bad. Bachelors if you know is a really famous chain at Chopati in Mumbai. They charge a bomb for their strawberry and cream and mango and cream. But actually they also give ice cream. Let's figure out if this has ice cream or not. Right now I'm just living for this combination. I hope there are as many pieces of mango, you know, deep down there as much as there are on top on the surface. Oh my god. Definitely not stopping at one bite. I think there are quite a few mango pieces. I'll show you guys once we are done like eating half of it. But I don't think there's ice cream inside. Now for my juice. Right now the flavor of mango has overpowered like my mind and I've forgotten what this juice was about. I think it was orange, pineapple and something. Let's try. Orange, pineapple and maybe apple. I don't remember. So we are actually almost halfway, more than halfway through the dessert. Safe to say that there are ample and more mango chunks inside. And it's really like bigger, thicker pieces. But it's just mango and whipped cream. Nothing else whatsoever. I feel like it feels a tad bit lighter than having a mango with cream and ice cream. So if you want a slightly more lighter yet indulgent dessert, mango based of course, then you can try it. The whipped cream has a hint of sweetness and the Alfonso mango that they've used is good quality, super duper sweet. So all in all, this is feeling really, really good. I wish I could go in this, but they actually charge and I think it's also only for kids. We have Miniso and DIY, two shops that I really really love right next to each other. And I actually visited this mall a couple of days back, that's when I went here and I shopped quite a bit. I did make shorter videos from my visit here, you can check them out in the form of shots and reels on my Instagram. You can't come to a mall and not shop, right? Or at least window shop. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm literally like taking out this evening to do things that I really enjoy indulging in. I do need to pick up an outfit for an upcoming video. And since you guys always ask me where is this from or where is that top from or where is that dress from, then I thought of taking you guys with me for shopping one entire outfit. Hopefully I find it. So let's go hunt for something nice to wear to a really good brunch. Somehow this always happens with me whenever I have like a specific agenda for shopping. Like I told you guys I want to get an outfit for a certain video. I will never end up finding anything or liking anything. But whenever I have this thing of no shopping, like I'm on my no buy days, that's when I'll find like the most attractive and the most amazing stuff. Let me know in the comments if this exact thing happens with you as well or if it's like conspiracy by the universe against me. Come let's go to Zara. Zara of late has become obnoxiously overpriced. Like there was a time where you could buy a top from Zara for like 2000, 1500. But now, nothing less than 3k, 4k. Either stuff is like overdressy or it's a bit too underdressed. I could actually go to brunch even in like a nice t-shirt. So right now, I'm so tired roaming around. I find one good t-shirt and I'm done. I really really like this but I don't think I'm wearing satin or anything silky in this weather. Finally going to the mothership. I don't think I can wear this to a brunch can I? It's really nice. It's the first thing that I've liked. I like this. This is different right? I like this colour. I'm taking this yellow top which I found really really cute. It's a loose one so I'm getting it in a smaller size, two sizes smaller actually. And then I picked up this dress. This I had to size up for you know the kind of fit that I like. I just love the colour. I don't have anything in this colour so I'm getting it and right now there's a buy to get 50 so good for me. So the green dress actually was for 3699 and there was a 50% off on it and the yellow top which was also on 50 off was for 1699. So total I paid 2670. I think it was an okay deal. I I tried so hard to shop that the shutters are down. 
I think I've done it all at the mall today, right from getting a spa to shopping to like seeing a gaming arcade. I didn't actually go and play, but at least I showed you guys. There's one thing left, it is watching a movie. And if I was here, if I had like probably two or three more hours to kill, then I think I would have done that. And in case you guys are spending an entire day in a mall, then watching a movie is also another thing to do. It's time for grabbing dinner. Actually, I'm not that hungry, but maybe a little something and then getting back home. So I'm hitting the food court again. Stop by this place called Swami, which is one of the many, many outlets right here. And it is an outlet for South Indian food. I felt like ending this day with a meal that makes me extremely happy. And the OG audience of this channel will guess the dish that I'm talking about. It's none other than idli. But here I've ordered a slight variation. So this is a podi idli. It's cost me 120 rupees. You have to see the amount of podi and ghee on top. Just getting one bite plain just with the podi. I don't know if it's just me or I can feel like a little bit of extra garlic in it, but it's not bad. Try it with the sambar, piping hot. I'm gonna finish this and see you guys in a bit. Finally ending this day with some dessert and I'm having Belgian waffle. That's the name of the chain. I just realized this is not Belgian waffle. And the waffle is actually a dark chocolate with white chocolate in the center. This feels good. A perfect way to end this day of uh, just chilling, shopping. That too with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This was a very, very different kind of vlog, a very impromptu one. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content and I will film more of it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.